What's up guys, this is Master of None, and today we're going to talk about practical applications of 3D printing. Now this will probably be a series because there's many practical applications for 3D printing, but today I want to show you uh, something I made for my airbrush, uh, which is an airbrush holder slash cleaning station. Uh, so what it has is two airbrush holders, Q-tip holder, a basket for your brush, an access, a little access port to get to the water, and a brush holder on the side. Um, one of the one of the things that I kept in mind designing this is I wanted the airbrush to be pointing towards the basket, uh, so that when I put airbrush cleaner into this and sprayed out into the mason jar in this contained uh, uh, area, it will spray onto the brush and hopefully also clean off the paint from from the brush. So next up is my modeling process in Fusion 360. I go pretty quickly through it, so if you have any questions feel free to comment below and I can answer them as best I can. If you have more questions, I can make a video specifically for Fusion 360 as well. Uh, but if you prefer not to watch that or don't care really about Fusion 360, you can skip to somewhere here and uh, check out the printing and assembly video. I started with a flat cylinder shape for the base of the cap and I measured the original cap of the mason jar and found it to be about two millimeters. And then I created an ellipse sketch with two ellipses and cut them in half and uh, also cut it vertically so that I could select this plane and revolve it to create the dome shape. I then created the basket by lofting two circles together drawn on two offset planes. I made a second inner lofted shape to subtract to make the basket. I realized later the entire thing would be a lot easier to print with the basket removed. But for now, I made a sketch on the side planes of squares to create an opening for the basket and then applied a circular pattern to the extrusion feature. I then created a set of concentric rings on the base of the basket to create drainage holes on the bottom. The access port and q-tip holder was created from a sketch of two circles connected by a arc and that pattern was duplicated and rotated to create both shapes and then extruded into the dome. The access port was an extrude cut and the q-tip holder was an extrude to make a new body. To create the Airbus holder I lofted between three circles on three different planes. I got the measurements from a crappy holder that came with my airbrush. I used the same method of creating another body to subtract to make the hole for the airbrush. And I made more extrude cuts to make space for the airbrush paint cup and airbrush air hose. I wanted the airbrush holder to point towards the basket so I could place brushes within the basket and have the airbrush cleaner spray out of the airbrush and clean the brushes at the same time. So that's how I figured which angle to place the airbrush holder. To combine the airbrush holder and the dome, I had to first subtract the airbrush holder shape from the dome and then delete the inside body that was left over and then combine the airbrush holder and the dome. I duplicated the airbrush holder and added drainage holes to the q-tip holder. Then I added the brush holder and I measured my thickest brush to get a size for the top of the parabola shape and I finished the model up by adding fillets to everything and adding a tab to the brush basket so that it snaps into place into the center hole. Let's send it over to the printer and see how it turns out.
So my airbrush holder is completely printed out and finished. And I've had a couple days of use and it's uh, worked worked pretty well. I, I have a different style airbrush holder that I didn't account for, uh, which is this, this airbrush with the jar on the bottom. Uh, and it doesn't quite fit right in here, but that's the awesome process of iterative design. And we can go back into Fusion 360 and change this out to make it fit this. So thanks for getting this far in the video. If you liked the video, hit the like button, check out my other videos, or subscribe if you like as well. And uh, thanks for watching.